Are you somebody who's completely committed to getting rid of their tinnitus no matter what? If so, then I recommend you stay tuned for this video because I'm about to show you how tinnitus is treated without drugs or surgery. My name is Liam Bohm and I run a company called Tinnitus Treatment and I got rid of my own tinnitus and now I show other people how to do it too. And so far I'm about to reach 200 people who've completely silenced their tinnitus. Not just got rid of it a little bit, not just that when they meditate it goes away, completely silenced using silence. So I'm going to show you these methods in this video and I'm going to show you how tinnitus is treated properly without surgery or any woo-woo meditation right now. And I'm going to show you how that's done in just three steps and I recommend staying to the end of the video because at the end of the video I'm going to show you exactly what I used to give my in-person guys over the space of 10 weeks. I'm going to give that to you I'm going to show you how to get that for free in just a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. So here's how to get rid of tinnitus. Here's how tinnitus is treated in just three steps, three simple steps. Okay, so the first step is belief. And most people get this. It's so important. Nobody wants to hear about belief. Everybody wants the quick trick. What's the quick stuff? I'll show you that stuff, but you need to get this first. And here's why. Getting rid of tinnitus, depending upon how old you are, because when you're old, you've been eating bad stuff for a long time. It can take anywhere from two to four months. Now that includes two to four months, two to four months to completely get rid of it, and two to four months to notice a difference. So you're going to need a bit of persistence. And it, but the thing is, I work with a lot of people with tinnitus, and I know that if they don't see results in a couple of weeks, they get worried. They start researching stuff. Do not do that. If you want to have tinnitus for life. Go and do research on different tinnitus topics. If you want to learn about how to get rid of tinnitus, go do research on topics not related to tinnitus, but that correlate with tinnitus. Okay, so let me tell you a story. So you would all, you would all know that um, tinnitus relief video on YouTube. I've done a video on it and it's out there, right? And the finger tapping. And I truly believe that those people did have tinnitus and I also believe that they did hear silence. That is the biggest like example of belief I've ever seen. There is no possible scientific, feasible, plausible reason that that would do a single thing. There is no chance I'd bet my life savings, which is not much money, but I'd put everything I have on the fact that they all have, they walked out of that room and 20 minutes later their tinnitus was back. There is no way apart from belief, okay? So if you have your belief, you need to have faith in what you're trying to do, what I'm teaching you, and that it will work. Not hope. Lots of people say, oh, I, hope, I just hope it'll work for me. I just hope it'll work for me. That's a weak mindset. That's a very weak mindset. It's got to be faith. Got to have faith in the system. Those people who are taught to who succeed are just all in. The second thing you need to do is you need to adopt the lifestyle of fasting. Now, it doesn't have to be forever. It doesn't have to be hardcore, but you need to start fasting. And I've got a more intricate video on this, but let me just explain something. Let me give you an example story. So let's say that um, you've got some sort of a water filter. And let's say, for example, um, let's say I've got this, this um, Evian water here and I poke a hole in the bottom. And um, let's say I fill this water with dirt. Okay, and so it's dirty water, I can't drink it, but it's, or the dirt and water is draining out slowly. So if I left this water right now, and I just left, let it drain out, eventually all the dirt and water would leave, and then I could fill it up, I could plug the hole up and fill it up with water and the water would be clean. But if as the water starts nearly getting down the bottom, I put more water into it, it's going to mess up all the dirt and water and it's going to be filled up again. You need to fast. This is a, it's a metaphor. Fast so your tinnitus gets out of your system. And that doesn't matter how you got it. I got it from noise trauma. It doesn't matter if you've got prescription medication, stress, physical injury, surgery, uh, post-menopause, antidepressants. All these different people come to me. It's all the same thing. So you need to start fasting, okay? Very important. The third step is that you need to start approaching it as if you had tinnitus from every angle. That's how I teach it. So some people get tinnitus from tight muscles in their neck. You're going to do that. Even if you got it from prescription medications, you're going to start releasing the muscles in your neck. Some people get tinnitus from um, stress, but you're still going to do the things that people who got tinnitus from um, antibiotics would do. It's all the same thing. You're going to hit it from every single angle. It doesn't matter how you got it. I understand it's frustrating and it's not your fault. And it's not your fault. I get it. It really isn't. Doctors prescribe horrific medications. 
people don't warn enough people about nose trauma. It's just ridiculous and it's really not your fault. And I'm actually sorry that it happened to you. And I know how horrible it is. And I'm, I'm really sad, you know, I'm really sad to hear that. I had nose trauma 10 out of 10 and was suicidal. I get it. If anyone gets it, it's me, okay? But you need to approach it as if you had it from all different angles to make it the most effective it can possibly be. And this is the steps that I'm giving people right now and it's working ridiculously well. And just, just think about it, isn't it? It's amazing, right? You don't have to do any sort of drugs or treatment or do any sort of crazy retreats or anything like that. It's just simple. It's just three simple steps. It's the belief that it'll work. Okay. It's the fasting and it's just, you systemize everything and then you do it as if you had it on all different angles. You know what I mean? It's very, very simple. Just imagine yourself in about two to four months and your tinnitus is completely gone and you can go to bed or you can sit at a desk like I am now and do work in a quiet room, sitting there like I am now, and you don't hear anything. You put your fingers in your ears and not hear a single thing except silence. Imagine that. Imagine how amazing that would feel. Imagine how far you would have come. You probably can't even imagine it because maybe it's been so long. Or maybe you only had tinnitus for about a month, which by the way, if you've had tinnitus for a month, jump on it now. So as I said in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna give you what I used to give my guys in person over the space of 10 weeks and you can absorb that in a couple of minutes. So click the link below this video, it's gonna take you to liamstopstinitis.com. And at that website, which is my website, you're gonna put in your email address and it's gonna send you a free guide. And you're gonna absorb that, apply it, and start chipping away at your tinnitus and start getting results. It's gonna go into more detail about most things that we've been talking about, but most importantly, the one thing is the fasting. Very, very important, okay? You need to understand the fasting, it's gonna explain it everything else will fall into place. And guys, if all that guy did for you, if all it did for you was just reduce the ring in your ears by let's say 50% and it just stopped there for whatever reason, just imagine, wouldn't it be worth it? And if all it did was reduce the ring in one of the ears by 25%, wouldn't it be worth it? And if all it could do would be to give you a quiet night's sleep, let's just say three nights out of the week, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, for some reason, wouldn't it be worth it? So just give it a shot, click the link below, and believe me, if you do even half as well as the rest of the people, the only problem you're gonna have is that you didn't find this guide sooner. Once again, my name's Liam, thanks for watching, thanks very much. This has been uh, How to Treat Tinnitus, is tinnitus treatable? Is tinnitus treatable without surgery? Hope you enjoyed the video, uh, click the link below, stay tuned.